Hair ghost makes sense. I should have just gone for expanding force. Should have gone for expanding force. I played myself. Yeah, we should have expanding force all day there. What is going on, everybody? My name is Nico, and welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet Violet VGC Climb video. Today, we are rocking this executor team, Cantonian executor. And this team comes from Evan over in the Discord. There's a lot of fun components here. There's a lot of size spam happening here. A lot of fun components as well, right? So we got the Indeedy to set the psychic terrain for not only Hatterene, but also our executor. But executor also has chlorophyll as a potential option to lead with the Torkoal to allow you to put stuff to sleep and do big damage. I think this is really, really cool looking. We also have Iron Bundle and Urshifu as like our fast mode for this team. A lot of cool stuff happening with this particular team. I'm keen to see what we can do with it. If this is your first time here on the channel, make sure you are sub for daily competitive Pokemon content from me in the future. I post every day around 1130 AM EST. So if that's your jam, make sure you hit that notification bell. That way you don't miss a single thing. Also be sure to hit the sub button because we are approaching that 10,000 sub goal and all help is appreciated. Also leave a like and a comment because that pushes this video out in the algorithm and helps more people find the channel that are interested in this kind of VGC content. Finally, question of the day between Executor and Alolan Executor. Which is your favorite? I'm going Alolan all day. I love how it's like a coconut tree. It's super tall. It's goofy. I'm a fan, but I still like my Cantonian executor. Let me know yours in the comments below. Let's get into some battles. What Terra are we on our Urshifu? Dark? Okay. We could do this lead, right? And then bring Psy Spam in the back. I kind of like that idea. I kind of like that idea. Because we could just outspeed stuff, put it to sleep, and then do big damage with Torkoal. And I kind of like how that idea comes to fruition here. But we'll have to see. We do have Earth Power. That's big. Earth Power is really important. But let's see what they decide to lock in. It's going to be very important. I kind of wanted to lead Urshifu. I think Urshifu could have been a really, really good lead. Especially Helping Hand just is so good with the Ursh. Helping Hand is so nice. We could have also opted for like a U-turn Trick Room setup option. That could have been cool. A couple options we could have gone with there. Tornadus and our Chaludon is going to be our lead. The question is, is Executor still outspeed our Chaludon? Because if it does, that could be cool. I'm going to get a DD in, because they're going to set Rain Dance. We're going to preserve the Torkoal for under Trick Room. We're still going to go for the Sleep Powder. And Didi comes in. This saves us from a Taunt if maybe they were going for Taunt on their uh, Arch as well. And not on their Arch, on their Torn. To stop the Trick Room. They go for the Rain Dance. Fine. Do we still outspeed our Chaludon? No. But they go for Flash Cannon and I'm fine with that. And we get the Sleep Powder off. Dope. What Terra are we? Terra Psychic? We get the Trick Room down here. Our Chalodon's gonna swap. Into Chen Pao. Makes sense. We have to hope that we survive a bleak wind storm. That's really what this is coming down to. I could have. Do I have protect? Oh, I should have just protected. But I'm hoping and praying that we can survive one bleak wind storm. It's going to be a big toss up with how much damage that flash cannon did. I want to say no. There's the bleak wind. Oh, baby. There we go. Obviously not going to hit the Chen Pao for anything.
And Tornado's taking decent damage there. Trick Room goes down. Um, I think what needs to happen is we need to go for another Expanding Force and just go for a D-Gleam here. I think that's what needs to happen. Torn's actually just going to swap. Into the Archaladon. D-Gleam goes off. Good damage. We break the Sash as well. All right, and then they target into what? They go for the Ice Spinner into... Yeah. Weirdness disappears. I don't need the Weirdness, though. Because I can get Torkoal in. And I can just go for a Heat Wave and get Hatterene in. Getting Hatterene in is a skosh scary. It is a skosh scary in this situation. Because if they Flash Cannon into the Ndidi slot, we're in trouble. We kind of just have to wait and see. They're thinking long and hard about this turn. And Didi goes back. Hatterene comes in. That's why Pelipper is just better for our Chalodon. Who do we miss? Chen Pao. That sucks. But we did get the Arch down. And they go for the Ice Spinner into Hatterene. Torn comes back. So the very obvious play this turn. How many more turns of Trick Room are we working with? Two more turns of Trick Room. The obvious play that we do here is we bring in Indeedy. And we go for a D-Gleam. Because they're going to go for Rain Dance. This stops a potential Sucker Punch from the Chen Pao. There's the Rain Dance. That's fine. They did not protect. They didn't protect. That's huge. They go for the Sucker. Can't Sucker Punch me. Nice. D-Gleam goes off. That's a double KO. Hatterene loses some HP. And Ogre Pawn is their last Pokemon. We follow me and we expanding force. And that'll be the game. GG. Executor takes a dub. Let's go. Let's go. you love to see it. That was a little sketchy. But I think going for the big damage with Executor and just hoping that after I Terra'd, I take that hit from Bleakwin. That was big for us. That was really big for us. We have to get the Trick Room down. That's the key component. Bring Executor, and we bring... I think we just bring Hat. Do they have anything that removes my terrain? No, they don't. 
Not a single thing removes my terrain. So this is the lead. Armor Rouge and Prim. We just go for Wicked Blow, and we Trick Room. We just go for Wicked Blow and Trick Room. We do go for the Terra Dark to maybe survive one, one single, um, to avoid one single chip. Are we max speed on this? We are max speed. Does that allow us to outspeed this armor rouge? Because that's key. No, it doesn't. Okay. But we did hold on, and that's what's really important. However, with that down, this gets a little hairy. I mean, we have to just go for helping hand at this point. Oh my gosh, that's a double KO still. We crit the Prim. I can't believe we KO'd the Armor Rouge. That's crazy damage. Hatterene is stupid strong. Well, at this point, it's just go, 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 right? We don't protect. Like, as much as I want to get Executor in, we just can't, we can't afford the Protect. No Terra on their part. Makes sense. This is not over. Looking at what they got, this is not over. So what we need to do here is Dazzling Gleam and go for Follow Me. It's our only play. And I think the Terra comes out onto the Dragapult. Terra Ghost makes sense. I should have just gone for Expanding Force. Should have gone for Expanding Force. I played myself. Yeah, we should have Expanding Force all day there. Because now they knock off, they get rid of Ndidi. I played myself. Expanding Force would have KO'd. I really biffed that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that turns a wash. I should have Expanding Force. That's dumb. That's dumb play on my part. However... There's a way out. There's a light at the end of this tunnel, right? Um, it's not a good one, but we expanding force. They go for the knockoff. We lose our focus sash. They're slower than us. That's so brutal. 
How many more turns to Trick Room? How many more turns to Trick Room? I need to do Expanding Force. I'm so dumb for not Expanding Force with a Hatterene. Because that probably would have put me in a winning position. Uh, Trick Room, one more turn. Okay, we have to protect. This is our only out. This is our only out. Okay, they temper flare. They temper flare. So it's a dimensions return to normal. We don't really need the weirdness anymore. But what we do need is the sleep powder to connect. Ah, it doesn't. GG. I played myself. I think we could have won if we were smarter. We could have won if we were smarter. But I didn't... I... I should have known they were going to Terra Dragapult. Had I gone for Expanding Forest, we KO Dragapult every time. So that's dumb on my part. That's bad play. Oof. <laughs> okay, they also like Sun. They also like Psy Spam. Okay. We could use you. You for sure. I don't think I want to lead my Torkoal. Or do I? I think this is the bring. This is a kind of unconventional group. But this might do the trick. Because if I outspeed their armor rouge and I have a wicked blow the Indeedee, I think I can just put the armor rouge to sleep. Okay. I'm gonna save the Terra. They want the Trick Room though. So what if I just did this? I can't sleep powder it. I can put that to sleep, though. They're gonna go for the Trick Room. So we can get Torkoal in. Good damage. Get Torkoal in. Come on. Land the sleep powder. Nice. There's the trick room. Yeah. Yeah. We click expanding force. And we Terra Fire Erupt. Because <clears throat> if they Terra, we're okay. They didn't Terra. They're not okay. Bye. 
Thanks. Thank you. You activated my trap card, nerd. All right. What's our last two Pokemon? Their own Torkoal. And... Blood Moon Ursaluna. Well, what I want to do is go for a Sleep Powder onto their Torkoal, and I'm going to Erupt. They're also going to Terra. They likely protect Blood Moon this turn. And we have Focus Sash. So as long as we don't get burnt and we put this thing to sleep, we're in good shape. Yep, there's the Protect. Read that like a cheap novel. They are up first. It's going to do a decent ship. Yeah, Torkoal did not like that. Focus Sash, baby. We erupt. Little chip. Small chip. Come on, hit the sleep powder. Love it. What are we cooking with as far as everything goes here? Two more turns of Trick Room. I kind of want to get Hatterene in and just go for a Heat Wave. What avoided? What avoided? Oh my gosh. Hyper voice goes off. Torkoal goes down. We get Executor back. We just need them to stay asleep. Expanding force. Protect. They have to stay asleep this turn. Otherwise, things get very bad for us. There's the protect. Don't wake up, Torkoal. Stay sleepy. Stay so sleepy. Yes. Yes. Didn't protect their Blood Moon. That's kind of a bold strategy. And that's the game. Executor with the Sleep Powder coming in clutch. Nice. That's a GG. That's a GG. Love it. Love it, love it. Alrighty, there's the team once more for you guys. Really cool team, Evan. There is uh, a little bit of strategy you got to play around with the fact that, like, Executor uh, will get procced by Torkoal uh, under the Trick Room. So, kind of tricky in that regard, especially because every game I'm bringing Executor because it's that video. But a uh, little tricky in that regard, but a really cool team. I definitely see where there's so much power on this team if you weren't forced to bring Executor every game like myself. A uh, lot of power on this particular team, especially, you know, in DD with Helping Hand and Urshifu, Terra Dark. Very strong stuff. I like it a lot. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and sub for more videos like this in the future. Also, be sure to check out the Discord. People over there hanging out, playing Pokemon all the time. And if you want to see anything else from me, check out any of the videos that you see here on screen. But until next time, peace.